good. Right, I'm just going to show you how to test the function of the solenoid inside the control box. Um, this will rule out any possible problems with the control system, either wireless or the plug-in wonder lead. So there are four screws to undo at the bottom, I've already done that. Take the lid off and then here is the main solenoid. This is the wireless receiver um, and then the socket here for the wonder lead. The most important thing is that the solenoid has a good earth and you can see that that's earthed through the casing onto the center terminal via this black lead. This black lead must not be connected to a chassis, it's vitally important that it's connected to a battery earth which is normally on the bottom terminal of the winch motor. For the purpose of this we're going to just put it straight onto the battery so we know that we've got a good and a direct connection. So again that goes from the battery through the side casing, there's a nut and bolt in there and it routes that centre terminal. So that's the centre earth. We have a trigger terminal on each side, one for in and one for out. And that operates the solenoid simply by applying the voltage to either side. So we're just going to do that again using this battery here. So if I touch it on this terminal, you'll hear a clunk. That's the solenoid operating on this terminal also get the same. If the control box is connected to the winch, the winch will of course uh, operate in and out providing everything downstream of the control box is correct. So that's a way of just proving to yourself that the solenoid works. If after doing that test it still doesn't work, what we would recommend before you um, conclude that it's faulty is actually using a separate wire to take a direct earth as well as a direct positive from the battery. So you're ruling out um, this earth path as well in case there's a problem or a break within the cable. Okay.